Hi, so I'm Sean. I am the Digital Programs Coordinator at Palmas North City Library. I came to that job through a restructure. For a moment there, I thought maybe I should be the Analog Programs Coordinator, but it seems to have worked out. I have two collaborators with me today. There's um, David Lupton and Leith Harhoff. Uh, together we kind of form Palmy Projection Labs and we do projection mapping. So projection mapping is, well, I'm going to get into that. We do have a cowpapa that we work to. So it must be conceived in the Manawatu. It must be greater than the sum of its parts. And um, when I think about it, doing this presentation here today was a challenge because I know there's a lot of competition for it. And I was thinking about how to title the presentation because it's projection mapping. could be kind of dull. You could go to any of the other sessions. So <clears throat> the third part of our kaupapa kaupa is that it's epically cool. We only do things that are epically cool. We don't do branding, we don't do advertising, we don't do decorating of buildings. And then there's the, the last part of my title, which is finding its groove, because we're still learning. We're still figuring out how things happen. We are a small town, Palmas North's population is 80 or 90,000. We don't do things like this. So you may have seen some videos of these kinds of things where they get a bunch of projectors and they project onto a palace or a public building. They've mapped it down to a millimetre, so they're projecting around the windows and they project the building on the building and then they make the building fall down and then they twist the building around and you can see what they've done here is create a lot of negative space. So they've drawn the building as if it's 3D in those corners disappearing into itself. They've created some kind of super collider out of pieces of the building in the middle. It's, um, it's the kind of thing you'd do if you had half a million dollars to throw at a project, maybe $400,000. We've got this. We have a couple of projectors and a PC. We've built the PC into a, a rugged case so we can cart it around with us. And at some point I'm hoping we'll get some projection going up on the walls and just to give an example of what we do with it. We work in collaboration a lot with uh, local people. With Sorry, that's a really bad way of saying it. As you can tell, I didn't write any of this down. I'm just making it up as I go along. The... Um, we work with the community. This is a community-based thing for the community. So we did a New Zealand Music Month celebration working with the local Access Manawatu radio station with um, a bunch of musicians, with the city council's placemaking people and created this in a basically a dead space. So what one of the the parts of what we want to do is we want to reinvent dead spaces. This is a dark, dingy alley in behind the uh, old public library, kind of not the kind of place you'd usually go at night. That's David over there in the corner doing his thing. Can we um, do the projection now, please? There we go. So this is the kind of stuff we do different projects, different things going on, and we map it to the, the shape of a thing. We use this system called Mad Mapper, which is kind of a bit like a PowerPoint. So, you know, you, you design your slides in PowerPoint and you project them up. So this just allows us to move things around. So in this example, we've got uh, a bunch of projectors that are going to run through the computer. We add in things called quads. So each one of these different things as a, as a quad, and then we add in some content, change the shape of the quad so that it fits to the different shapes that we're projecting onto. So we can project on different angles, project into corners, project onto the ceiling. <coughs> and it's, it's kind of a trial and error thing. So I think with that palace, they probably had a really beautiful 3D image map uh, done probably with LiDAR or something like that of the palace so that they could map it all in, um, inside the software. We go to the venue and we just kind of tweak and move things around. We drag all the corners and pieces. So this is the back of the new library. 
and this was our demonstration for the Diwali celebration that was going to happen in the library. You can see that this map here, kind of with the candle on my right-hand side here, has become the candle on part of the building right there. <clears throat> when we came to it, we did this here for Diwali, and we projected it onto the city council building. The council building's kind of an ugly thing, but it's got this kind of central part of jumbly concrete, and this looked amazing projected on it because it spins around a lot. That is moving, isn't it? It is changing. Yeah. I love the scale that we can go to. We can go really, really big. So these are three, four-storey buildings. We're done with relatively small projectors. We also have done galleries. So this was the Sounds of Summer festival finale, where a group of musicians, again the local radio station, and we just mapped onto very small areas. Now coming up somewhere soon, there's a, um, an easel with a canvas on it that we projected on it, and it's just a slow changing thing, and I really like that we were able to make it look like it was a painting, but if you looked again, the painting was different. And it's, it's, it's coming. There, that person's face over there slowly changes. You see there in that image, person with glasses. So that was fun. We did, so I'm going to come around here. So this is kind of odd, this piece of footage here above me. This is the um, local history week when we projected from our, um, the Regent Theatre across Broadway Avenue onto the um, downtown cinemas. They had this great big flat face there and so as part of Local History Week, just every night we projected images from uh, the Manawatu Heritage Files. Um, we did a thing called Freaky Friday, which is a children's program in the library and it's run right through the winter, every Friday night, children come in, we read them freaky stories. For the finale, they wanted to add in something extra to it, so we did rear projection. So all the children are on the other side of those hanging sheets there, and it just lifted it, and I guess for me that's part of the greater than the sum of its parts. What was my next thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I really like how you can create a, a spatial depth to it. So this is one from earlier, but it's just a still image. The, uh, the garage behind the performers is kind of just this flat, bright white space, and then there's hollows in between the other buildings, but because we've got that kind of spotty projection going on in there, it just enriches and lifts the space. We have some really odd footage. Can we put the snail up there too? This was a, um, a little time lapse of a snail that was crawling across, and then we tipped some tables up on their sides and within the library projected the, the snail up onto the, um, onto the tables. We use uh, computer-generated imagery. So this is just me having fun in um, Google Tilt Brush, which you've probably come across wearing the, an HTC Vive um, headset in virtual reality, making a 3D painting, and then taking a video of that. And I like projecting that really big. Odd pieces of footage show up. so. This was from someone riding a train in Japan. Um, could, they got access just in behind the cab and just filmed it. Shortly, I'm going to show you uh, how we've used that within a thing. That's me. Oh, I meant to show you. I'm going to go right back, if I can. I know this is a jumble, but... Yeah, no, here it is. That's my mum. 
my mum likes to come down to some of these shows. Like, first time she showed up, I was like, Mum, what are you doing here? Okay, come through the train. Yes, yeah, so as Leith is at the equipment console over there, running Mad Mapper, um, we, we do shows in response, so we will change the footage that's playing as it goes. So sometimes we'll just blanket it all with bright colours and graphics. Sometimes we have a mix of things. Sometimes, like, like we've done on the, um, the pillar there, we just set fire to everything. And I've spoken for less than 10 minutes. But that's kind of <clears throat> what I wanted to convey, is like, we're doing projection mapping, lifting the city, doing lots of things really simply. Leith has put up a grid there. So this is him adjusting the space to fit onto that panel. So we came in earlier and have mapped out the area using these grids so we know exactly the size. Can twist and bend, just get it sitting nicely. So each panel there is looking a bit like a, a movie screen. And can you twist it again, turn it into something else? So we just can move it around, and then when the content goes on, it just fits very nicely into that. I'll finish off with um, one of our collaborators. This is um, musician James Lissette. So he um, is very keen on this. He loves to perform with it. He's done a piece that is about uh, the land in New Zealand. So I'm going to play that as a video after this, where we've used lots of um, Manitou Heritage images again to uh, complement the music. We're going to do it as a performance at some point. But I really like how sitting here, it looks like he's driving the train while he's working his, his uh, modular synthesizer. Okay, and this is the video. In theory, this, this appeals to um, the glam sector because we are using um, archival photographs in a new way, reinventing them. I guess that's questions. Or perhaps just sit and enjoy for a minute.
the majority, but that we each can preserve our culture and our identity and concentrate on building a society in which we have equal opportunity to participate in the benefits and responsibilities of New Zealand. David has reminded me one thing that I left out there was that a big part of this is generating content from the community. So the, um, the one we got permission to use was the Diwali drawing that was on the tall panel here. It's a, a whole huge thing about involving the community from the ground up right through the, to the, um, from the conception to the delivery. The end. <laughs>